if you're not making the types of cash flow you'd like in your business, regardless of whether you're an affiliate, a coach, course creator, whatever label you give yourself, right? It's all the same shit. You gotta be asking yourself a few questions. And when, when you do, and you're able to disconnect yourself from the actual business and understand that your business is not your identity and you can divorce the two, then it's going to make life a lot easier. You can start seeing your business in a more analytical sense, right? So the questions you want to ask yourself are, have I got a steady flow of leads coming in? I'm going to say most of you probably don't, to be perfectly honest. Am I focusing on one method of conversion only? Understand that people like myself, I'm at a different stage of this game, right? So I've been working online for seven years at this point, full time. And so therefore, you gotta think, okay, it's probably a little bit different if this guy is sometimes closing with a Google Doc, sometimes making an offer via his profile, sometimes hopping on sales calls, sometimes hosting webinars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I would encourage you just to focus on one to begin with. Obviously start to experiment once you get a little bit more attuned to it. And then the other question to ask yourself is, have I made an offer to my audience? And what I mean by that is, have you invited them to be part of your opportunity? Have you been speaking about your opportunity so people actually know what the fuck you sell? And if you haven't, then maybe you probably want to start helping them out with some stuff, right? That's why if you go through any of my content, you'll probably hear me drop the word Ultimate Marketing Mastermind or my Sanctum of Success program, right? You'll hear me say that a lot. I will preach how well my students are doing. I'll mention these things often because it helps to bolster credibility and trust as well as pre-sell the actual entity itself. So go and ask yourself these questions. Don't take it as a personal attack on yourself. It is purely based on data and data, once collected, is something that you can refine. And that's how we build business. So anyway, I hope this helps guys. See you in the next one.